Welcome to Ruth Gray All Things Gardening. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about funguses. It is September, hot, humid weather, lots of rain. That's when it triggers our funguses. So in the next few sets of tutorials, we're going to talk about fungus as regards wilts, blights, leaf spots, rusts, and bacterial rot. So today we're going to focus on bacterial rot. So let's have a look at our plants. So here on this leaf that I have here in my hand, you can see on this top section here, it has blown up. It has, by appearance, gone watery. That will eventually turn mushy and slimy. Sometimes the bacterial soft rot will emit an odor, a vegetation odor. Sometimes it will not. It depends on how severe the infection is when you come across it. Once the general area turns soft and mushy, it will then turn black. As you can see on the plant itself, the leaves have turned black. From then on, the bacteria can consume the whole entire plant, turning the leaves to wilt. They don't look right, they look like there's no turgidity, they might require water, but it's not, it's the disease. So for control of this disease, you would need to go down to your local agricultural store, your co-op, and look within their fungicide range you need to find a water-soluble fungicide. There's a product that I use called Phyta. You drench that product into the soil, whether it's in your bag, in your pot, or the aloe in the ground, you would drench that. Because it's then systemic, it is taken up through the root. So once your plant has gone all papery and brown like this, then you can look to remove these unsightly areas. You see this leaf here is all dry and papery. I'm going to cut this section away just to remove it. I'm not cutting against the leaf itself because I do not want to cause a wound for any more infection to come along. Eventually this leaf will die back, but it will be replaced by the new ones. So once I remove each leaf, I need to make sure that there's no disease going to be allowed to be transferred from my blade onto anywhere else. This is just a bleach. Give it a quick rinse. Make sure there's no problems. Dry my blade and then I can continue. If you don't want to use chemicals and you would like to go down the organic route, there are a few alternatives that you can use. Firstly, make sure your sanitation of your garden or your aloe area is clean of any leaves or debris as this will harbor the spores under the leaves. You can use an organic compound. There are several out there that you can use that you can utilize as a protective spray. It will not kill or cure your bacterial soft rot but it can be used as a preventative. Other alternatives are fungal antibiotics. Yes there are also funguses that will attack other funguses. They are known as a fungal antibiotic. Streptomycin is one of these and is widely available and can be used again as a protective spray. I hope you have found today's tutorial interesting. Don't forget to tag the bell and subscribe to Ruth Gray All Things Gardening. Till next time, enjoy.